Hello everyone, welcome to Advanced Technologies. Today we are going to have a look on a very interesting application called as XDesign in the 3D Experience platform. XDesign is a very interesting application where you can generate your parts and models in 3D and this is one of the many applications in the 3D Experience platform. So all you require is the internet and the web browser to launch this particular application. So just to minimize my work while the project is running, I can create a dashboard and I can simply create a number of applications that I require in a single window. So this is a 3D uh, the X Design application where we are going to create an hydraulic jack assembly and we can store it in the desired location in the cloud platform. So the user interface comes like this where you have the design manager on the left hand side. On the bottom you have the command manager where you can see all the tools to create the model and in the center we have the graphical area where the entire 3D model will be created. So utilizing the search option and the crew, we can insert one of the starting components of the assembly. Let's say the jack base has been inserted in the platform. So as this is the very first component in the assembly, it's always fixed in the space and it is represented by the particular symbol as you can see on the command in on the design manager. So in a similar fashion by using the insert tools and utilizing the search options, we can uh, insert the other components, let's say the jack link and click on OK. Once this is inserted on the uh, on the X Design application, we can either use the mate option from the uh, as a command manager, or you simply we can select the faces and automatically in the context toolbar will get the notification for the mates that can be created. Similar fashion, once the concentric mate is created, we can utilize the uh, coincident mate so that the two faces becomes coincident and to create the copy of the same component again simply select the component and click on control and drag it the copy can be created utilize the mate option and select the faces again when the concentric mate is done again we can select the faces where the concentric mate has to be selected and click on ok so rather than creating uh, or uh, creating copy each and every time we can select the control and drag the components and you can see how easily the maze has been produced. Now this particular application is very much similar to that of SOLIDWORKS that we use. <coughs> Just by creating the copy and utilizing the mate options, we can create the other mate in the particular locations. And we, in order to just connect the two sides of the components, we can insert a pivot. Just drag and drop it into your design application and insert it. Now, one of the very in what we can say a fun tool that I like about this X Design application is the robot. So simply you can drag it, rotate it, translate it to one particular direction as per the convenience. So we are gonna just um, rotate it along one particular direction so that we can meet it in between the links. So simply select the multiple cylindrical faces and the context toolbar will give you the notification for the concentric mix. Then utilize the same feature again to create the coincident mates and the two components have been linked to each other. Now once this is done to reduce the mating time we can utilize the mirror options which will help us to create the same components on the other side of the plane. So in the command manager go with the mirror option, select the reference plane, let's say ZX plane in this case and select all the components. Make sure you click on the create symmetry mate which will maintain the mate even when the components are mirrored. Once this is done, simply you can utilize the drag tool to identify whether the mate has been created perfectly or not. Now, in order to maintain the perfect translation direction, we can insert the screw and simply drag it into the X design application. So once you can you have inserted it, select the cylindrical faces of the screw and the pivot which will help us to mate it concentrically. Now as you can see the entire uh, the components that has been utilized in this particular application is denoted in the design manager um, that to as per the sequence and the mates folder is, uh, is mentioned below the components where you can see all the mates that has been uh, created to create this particular assembly. So once 
the screw is mated with the assembly just click on ok now each and every time rather than uh, mating the entire component you can also mate the entire sub assembly itself so utilize the mate option so we have the left sub assembly that has been created simply just drag it into this design application again and insert it again remove the unnecessary planes for the references and will utilize the same features of the concentric and the coincident mates which will help us to create the complete assembly with the help of this particular sub assembly utilize the concentric on the other on both the links once created you can go with coincident mates which will help to place the jack assembly exactly at the center so this is how easy it is to build entire assembly directly in your Xdesign application. Now one of the best advantages that it is operates in the cloud so you can design it from any devices, any place in any way. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more contents on the 3D experience platform and please like and subscribe. Thank you.